Captain Pugwash was writing his diary one morning and feeling rather pleased with himself. Still treasure belonging to arch enemy Cutthroat Jake. Mate Jonah and Willie to Portobello, giving their captain a chance for a little peace and quiet. <laughs> As usual, I, Captain Horatio Pugwash, showed conspiracy. Picus courage, breathtaking bravery, huge heroism, blustering bloaters. Shoo, 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 shoo. Off, boy, down, down, shoo. Help! Help! Oh, Captain. Let me help. What? Uh, leave my sandwiches alone and get this marauding monster out of here. Aye, aye, Captain. M -m 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 Mr. Mate! <laughs> oh, whoops, it is, eh? Animals. Captain? I'm not having them on board. That's an order. And you are personally responsible for making sure it's carried out. <laughs> 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 All I want's a little dog. Someone I can talk to. Here you are, Gav. That's a sheep. Yeah, it's very cheap. I'm almost giving it away. Uh, no, it's a sheep. I want a dog. This animal is 100% pedigree dog. He just needs clipping a bit. Nah. Oh, I don't know. Listen, he barks and everything. How much is he? How much you got? One gold coin. Give me that, and he's yours. Tell you what, I'll throw in a lead. I'll call you Rover. How would you like that? Nah. Fetch, Rover. Fetch! Help! So oh, heck. What are you playing at? Fetch? But our Rover don't understand the rules yet. Come on, boy. You can't take that sheep on the ship. Oh, he's not a sheep. He's a dog. He's got horns. He's a sheep. He's a dog. He could be a sheep dog, eh? Know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever he is, his yeah. new lave socks allowed on board by order of the captain. Oh, he won't do no harm. No, Rover. Yeah. Bad boy. That animal's a danger to life and limb. Get rid of it. Oh, dear, Rover. Oh, I like him. He's so cute, yeah. eh? Hey, we'll get him on board, huh? But the captain said... The captain don't have to know. Hey, know what I mean? <laughs> captain! Sail on the horizon! It's the Flying Dustman! Nonsense. How could it be the Flying... Dustman! Shiver sharks! Hoist the anchor, raise the sails, drop the splice, empty the bilges, grease the fattocks, get me out of here! He doesn't like it. I can see that. We're sailing on the next day. Oh, whack! It is Mr. Man! No, no! All ends on deck! How many times do I have to explain? You do put your hands on the deck. Yeah. What was that? Uh, me. A marvellous idea. Uh, uh, us all going on to deck, I mean. <laughs> After you, Mr. Mate. Given Jake the slip. He could be hiding on the other side of the island. T -t -t Tuttering turtles! <laughs> but as I was about to say before you interrupted Tom, he could be hiding on the other side of the island. So keep a lookout for him. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, oh, look, uh, uh, do we attack now, Captain Jake? No! <gasps> We wait till it's dark, and he's far away from help. 
Then we attack! Hooray! And we shows perverse, the gruesome and unspeakable things what happens to them that steals my treasure. Blissfully unaware of Cutthroat Jake, Captain Pugwash and his crew prepared for bed. Oh, someone's scandalised my underwear. Who was it? Ah! It's that sheep. He's not a sheep. He's a dog. And that was me yawning. Oh, oh my. it's time we were all in bed. This isn't right. It weren't my idea. Oh, I'm going straight to the captain. He's going to be most displeased. He will be. He told you no animals on board. Exactly. And he said it was your job to make sure of that. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. He could have you clapped in irons. Well, that's not fair. But the captain doesn't have to find out that you've disobeyed his order. Not if we hide the sheep. The dog? Yes, in a safe place. He's not going back in my hammock. Now let's get this clear, Tom, my lad. Thanks to tip-top, first-class and thoroughly top-hole captaincy, we have robbed Cutthroat Jake of his treasure and sailed away under his very nose. The ship I saw did look like the Flying Dustman. Nonsense! You spent far too much time in that crow's nest. But, Captain... That's quite enough of that nonsense. Now, where's my bedtime cuckoo? <laughs> I don't think... Rover's very happy. Uh, this is all your fault. How are we going to get out of here? I don't know. I... Shh. What? Uh, it's quiet. Uh, maybe he's gone away. Have a look. Uh, oh, no. Not me. Someone's got to do something. Tom! Tom! No! Tottering turtles! Help! Captain? Are you all right? <coughs> oh, no! A sheep! How did you get here? It was the Flying Dustman! Manner of my treasure. Follow me, lads! <laughs> Where's Pugwash? I don't know. Ah! Who's that then? I wouldn't look in there. <laughs> Pugwash? Ah! What the blazes is. <laughs> you can't say I didn't oh. warn you. Oh. 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 Never around when he's needed, that cabin boy. Oh. <laughs> Stuttering starfish! Didn't you hear me calling? Where on earth have you been? Cutthroat Jake and his crew boarded us. <laughs> but it's all right now. <laughs> Thanks to Rover. <laughs> Captain! While Cutthroat Jake floundered in the waves, the crew of the Black Pig removed the last of his treasure and sailed away. I think we 
should congratulate ourselves on a job well done. I had it all planned from the start, of course. Mm. <laughs> Tom knew Rover became as gentle as a lamb when he got his carrot tops. So in the end, only Cutthroat Jake was fleeced.